Hi folks, I'm Craig Taylor and as always a huge thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel The Bushcraft Padawan. It's another bank holiday here in the UK, it is another scorching day here in the UK, certainly on the south coast of England anyway, so I thought this would be as good an opportunity as ever to come out into the woods and to practice some fire lighting skills in relation to using the sun, solar ignition. I've got a few materials with me that I've brought from home. I've got a few materials that I've actually gathered on the walk into this location today. So why don't we have a little tinker, a little experiment and see what I can get to work. Fingers crossed the Great British Summer holds out until the end of this video. First up then, I am going to use this Fresnel lens. It's credit card sized piece of plastic. Clearly something's, you know, the manufacturing process has done something with this plastic to give it the ability to magnify uh, and therefore be able to focus light as well. This cost me less than two pounds from the Bushcraft store here in the UK. So it's about credit card sized, quite flexible, so fairly robust easily slipped into a pocket or a pouch or in my case my tinderbox. So that's what I'm going to use to actually focus the sunlight. I'm going to focus the sunlight onto this piece of char cloth here and then fingers crossed I'm able to blow it into flame using this honeysuckle bird's nest that I've created. So sunlight through the lens onto the char cloth, char cloth into the bird's nest if it's not already in there and then blow it into flame. Let's see how I get on. There's the char cloth into the center of the bird's nest bundle. There's the Fresnel lens. It's quite tricky to do this and keep everything in focus in the camera. So let's give it a whirl, see how we get on. I'm focusing that light now into a very small dot. I've already started to get smoke. I hope that's been picked up on the camera. It's often difficult to tell if the camera's picking stuff up, particularly in, in very bright sunlight like it is today. So it's definitely burning. Let me bring it ever so slightly closer to the lens. Let me blow on it. Hopefully you've seen that, certainly seen the smoke now. Let me try and blow this into There we have it. Burning nicely. So that worked well. Next up, I'm going to use the magnifying lens on my compass. I'm going to magnify, or I'm going to focus the light onto a piece of char cloth once more. And this time around my tinder bundle is some shredded inner bark of sweet chestnut. So compass focusing the light onto the char cloth. The char cloth is inside a bird's nest tinder bundle of shredded sweet chestnut in a bag. Let's see how we get on with this. Again I'll try and bring it into the camera so you can see what I'm seeing. It is difficult to try and do everything but still keep it in focus. So I can see that I'm getting some smoke here. Okay, that's smouldering well. Once again, I'm just going to move the compass away and bring it to camera and blow on it so you can hopefully see that. Hope you can see that glowing there. Now let's try and blow this into flame. There we have it, once again, we have fire. Next up, I'm once again going to use the Fresnel lens, but this time I'm going to focus the sunlight onto some fatwood shavings that I've just used my Moragarberg to shave from some Scots pine fatwood, this small pile of shavings here. First time I've used uh, the more Garberg to do that and it was a uh, it was like knife through butter so another tick in the box for the Garberg and once I focus the light onto that and I have an ember I once again plan to use some shredded sweet chestnut in a bark in order to be able to blow that into flame so Fresnel lens focusing the light 
onto the fat wood onto some sweet chestnut in a bag. Let's see how I get on. So I've started to see some smoke rising, it's building up quite quickly, not as quickly as on the char cloth, I must admit, but it is there, hopefully again, it's very difficult to see if you can pick that up on camera, especially as the, the monitor that I'm looking at on the camera is pretty useless in such strong sunlight. fairly confident you can probably see that smoke pouring off there now. I'm just moving the lens around ever so slightly rather than just focusing it in one spot I'm actually trying to to move it around and create more quickly that ember that I'm looking for rather than just allowing it to spread naturally. constantly moving the lens around the angle of it trying to focus that sunlight as into as small a pinprick as possible. Okay let's put the lens down now see if I can get this into a flame. Okay, so lots of smoke, hope you picked that up. Lots of heat, I could feel it through the other side, but um, as you can clearly see, no actual flame. So I'm gonna go for that again. I'm going to create a bigger pile of fatwood shavings. I forgot what I was talking about then. Bigger pile of fatwood shavings this time around and see if um, that's the, the key. So stick with it. Be back in just a second once I've got those shavings in place and in the bundle and I've got the lens ready to go again. Now I've got that smoke again. There doesn't seem to be any problem getting the smoke, you know, getting it hot enough to to smolder, to smoke. It does take a little longer than the char cloth, I must admit. Again, I guess the char cloth is already charred. You've, you started that burning process already, haven't you? Whereas the fat wood isn't quite the same. But I've added probably twice the amount into the bundle now. I've shredded the inner part of this bundle even more than it already was. It's almost powder-like now, underneath this ember that I'm trying to create. A good focused beam of light here. Again, I hope you can see the smoke coming off, but it's there's not plumes of it, but it's a good steady trickle of smoke. I'm just going to spend the last few seconds and then I'm going to put the lens down and attempt once more to blow it into flames. Wish me luck. Bye. 
bugger. Well, as Meatloaf said, two out of three ain't bad. No problems with char cloth and a compass. No problems with char cloth and a Fresnel lens. In, regardless, I suppose, of what the actual um, tinder was that that ember was going to be blown into flame into. Did have a problem, as you saw at the end, with using the, um, the shaved fat wood. Looked like it was going to go. I mean, I could see very clearly into there and the, the, there was a glow in the ember. There was an orange glow. Just It just seemed to, to burn itself out. It didn't actually seem to combust at all. Was there not enough fat wood? Was it the wrong type of fat wood? Was it the wrong type of bird's nest? Was it not fine enough? Was it too fine? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe you know. Maybe the person watching this knows. Maybe it's technically and, and, and physically impossible to blow uh, or to ignite uh, fat wood from a solar ignition into a flame. So maybe I'm just trying to battle physics here. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Not something I'm going to give up on though. The great thing about what I just failed at there was it's very easy to replicate in the back garden. So something that I can try my hand in when I get home sometime. But otherwise, it was good fun to get out and practice some solar ignition. Yes, I know there are far more ways of, 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 um, of capturing the sun's rays than just Fresnel lens or a compass. You have those parabolic lenses, you have some tricks by using the polished um, bottom of a Coke can or a glass bottle and things like that. But I just wanted to use things that I already had to hand, which were a compass and a Fresnel lens. And I also know that there are many other materials that you can focus the sun's light on to hopefully gain some form of combustion. If I'd been able to find the right kind of uh, fungi on my walk-in this afternoon, I'd have certainly tried those. But I didn't, so that's again, that's something to try in the future. Thanks for watching. If it's inspired you to perhaps grab your compass or grab your Fresnel lens or a magnifying glass and just get out and to try to elicit fire, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you think there's somebody in your network that would benefit from watching this video or may find it interesting, there's a share button below. You know what to do with it by now. And finally, if you are not yet a subscriber, and a huge thank you to everybody that at some point in the past has clicked that subscribe button. If you're not yet one of them, then click on the logo in this corner of the screen, and as if by magic, you'll become a subscriber. Thanks as always for watching. Enjoy the weather if you're there where I am at the moment. See you soon. Cheers.